yeah, stay well over there, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. See where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. R.I.P. Mr. C. DJ Mr. C. Brooklyn's own. Brooklyn's finest. Mr. DJ Mr. C, man. I saw that on my timeline today. You know when you go on Twitter sometimes or you go on social media and you see something and then you're like, did I just read that right? And then I saw one person have R.I.P. Mr. C and I'm like, come on, man. Please tell me this is not true. And then obviously I go to the trending part of Twitter and then I see an abundance of R.I.P. DJ Mr. C, man. He died at 58 years old. And it's wild because I'm not in my 50s yet, right? But I'm not far behind. I'm not I'm down a block, two blocks down, a couple streets up. I ain't far from there. When you start hearing people that you grew up listening to, right? K Slay, Mr. C, guys like that, man. And this almost puts things in perspective sometimes. You almost like count your blessings, you're still here. Um, you start, your mind start wondering, have you done everything that you wanted to do? Have you achieved everything you, that you, you, you sought out to do, right? Did you leave a stamp? Did you leave footprints on people's hearts? Did you leave, um, did you leave memories for the hip hop community, man? And man, 57 years of age, man, Mr. C, man. And obviously we do not know the reports of what happened to Mr. C and what caused his death and everything like that, man. And, ah, starting off as what, Big Daddy Kane's DJ in the 80s, a real DJ, not some DJ name you put together, DJ Academics, but we never see you behind the ones and twos. I, I, I live through the Mr. C era. I lived through that, man. I lived through when Jay-Z made auto-tune and he said, I made this just for Flex and Mr. C. I want people to feel threatened. I remember that. I remember that, man. Before Hot 97 was playing Ice Spice and the drill movement and everything like that, I came from the Mr. C era, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. He had his set. I remember them those, those days vividly, man. Vividly, man. Mr. C, man. Wow. I guess my question would be for the hip hop community. Do do you guys feel that Mr. C got his just due from the hip hop community? Yes. Yes, he was DJ for Kane. Yes, he put on Biggie and, and helped with the demo tape and everything like that. Maddie C going to the saw. We, we we understand all that, right? But did he get his just due from the hip hop community? Because we understand um people that he dated that you might not agree with and stuff like that and i felt like that left um people to to not want to give mr c his, his just do because he he went a different way that you might not be where you all across the board man it's just a sad day to hear this about mr c but like i said i do wonder at times because of his situation and who he chose to date and and, and we had in his life and stuff like that. We heard about situations with Mr. C. Did that did that leave a bad taste in the hip hop community's mouth to the gatekeepers or the community itself, where people did not show Mr. C's is is one two is the love that he probably deserved. Was Mr. C ever on drink champs? Has anyone ever really sat down with Mr. C and got an exclusive interview, with Mr. C? Man, I wish I'd interview Mr. C, man. I would have asked a lot of ill questions pertaining about the 80s and 90s, about Kane, about Scoop and Scrap. You were right there for the Kane era. I'd ask about the 80s, you know, about Kane and Rakim, about G Rap, Special Lead, MC Light, Rob Bass. I mean, like. Mm. The infamous Biggie freestyle that he gave us in 94 with Biggie, Biggie talking about Mr. C and they start rapping. And stuff like that. Oh, man. 
I remember seeing Mr. C on Ralph McDaniel's show, man. I remember those days, man. You know what I mean? I had the, the it was the Mark Deep cassette tape. It would be the best of Mark Deep hosted by Mr. C. And stuff like that, man. Oh, man. Mm. K. Slade's not here. No, Mr. C's not here. It's like, man. And for cats like me who watch these guys, man, from Red Alert, Funkmaster Flex, and all that, Joe Clear. I come from the Ed Love and Dr. Dre. I come from that in the box, New York Hot Tracks and all that. You know what I mean? We lost the pioneer today, y'all. We lost the hip-hop pioneer. We lost the hip-hop DJ, a real live, a, a real DJ in the 80s. In fact, I remember because I come from the Caribbean background, I remember Mr. C showing love to the dancehall culture. I remember them days, man, I-97 when he showed love to dancehall music and stuff like that. Obviously, dancehall, hip-hop and dancehall do coincide. Okay, Cool Herc is from Jamaica. Let me get, let me get that Mr. Suit and everything like that. But yeah, man, right now he's in the heavens with Biz Marquee, Biggie, and all that, man. And I, I, I really want to see, are they going to, in the next couple of days, I want to see how 97 is going to do. They're going to do a tribute to Mr. C. I see a lot of people speaking about Mr. C and everything like that, man. What was the name of that song he had on Kane's album? What was it Mr. C's? Um, uh, it was a Mr. C Master's Plan, I, Mr. C, Mr. C's Master Plan. I think that was on Kane's first album, I want to say, the, um, with Ain't No Half Stepping and all that, and Raw and all that. I would love to hear Kane starts on there. I would love, you know, that's what people really want to hear what Kane got to say. I would love to hear what Hov got to say. I would love to hear what a lot of rappers got to say. He broke a lot of rappers, bro. You know, losing K Slade, losing Mr. C. That's a part of NYC um, fabric in terms of DJs that we lost, bro. Seriously. That's why I guess we got to celebrate cool. We got to celebrate Flex. We got to celebrate SNS, Ron G. You know what I mean? The, the, like, the guys before that, bro. And it makes you think at my age, I'll be like, damn, son, I hope my time. Just let me live a little bit longer, bro. Let me just hang in there. You know what I'm saying? Because you start thinking... Stuff at 58 years old, 57 years old to the average young punks. I know y'all think when you start getting your 40s and 50s, you're just old and crepit and dusty and all that. I know y'all y'all give it up to that. But man, no more Mr. C, bro. Man. Mm. And I guess that's why Nori does shows like Drink Champs and stuff like that to give people their flowers and their respect while they're here. I don't know if Mr. C was on Drink Chance. He probably was. I'll part this up if he wasn't. I should have fact checked that first before I came on. But yeah, man. TJ and Mr. C, bro. Wow. Brooklyn, man. Brooklyn, 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 man. Lost one, lost one today, man. RIP to Mr. C. RIP to his family, his friends. Everybody that rock with Mr. C. I saw Rosenberg uh, put a tweet out there and stuff like that. You can tell that came from the heart and everything, man. You know what I mean? So it was like, fam, Mr. C been hot Mr. C been hot 87 for decades, bro. We're talking decades of Mr. C. Like. No longer here, bro. It's crazy, man. Start losing your soldiers and stuff, you know. Prince Market from the Fat Boys, you lose Nipsey, Big Pac, like. Right? Man. I don't know, man. Leave comments on the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. R.I.P. Mr. C again, man. It's your boy, 3 Letter, man. One.